let's get into the business of this beautiful Absolutely. Friday, um, which is on Runtown, Files, Wall, DJ, J1, Tiwa Save, Tokemakin Watacha, Polo Koye, Dremo, Elozona, Prince, Anto, Tomike, and many more who were at the NSAS protest, which held yesterday. The takeoff point was at the um, Lekki Toll Gate, and they walked to Marina. From Marina, they walked back to the Lekki Toll Gate. And that has been an amazing one. They went to Onikon as well. But um, one thing that caught my attention the most is that a lot of people are trying to attribute this good deed to just Fowls. You know, they mm. make it look like Runtown was the backup guy. Really? Fowls was the backup guy. Runtown was the main man. Mm. You understand? Mm. So I don't want, let's give on to Caesar what belongs to Caesar. Mm. I don't like the way the blog side have been pushing it out there, trying to push uh, Runtown's work behind, probably mm. because he's the smaller artist, at least. Well, will I is even it? call him the smaller artist? I think though? it's also because Fowles is very good at this type and he's been of doing thing. it in his music as yes, well. Yes, and he's been he's been protesting. And he, even like you mentioned yesterday, was it you or Elsie? It was you who said um, you liked how he was handling. They were telling the police. Maybe it was I don't mm -hmm. know. Yeah, was telling the Fowles, police yeah. that um, you know he seemed like he was more Informed. like it's it's it's, it's, it's it was his, more woke about yes, the whole it's his situation. More, it's his space. Like he's more comfortable with the mm. whole advocacy and protesting and all of that stuff. I don't I don't really think it's a competition between both uh, both of them. Them. Everybody knows that Runtown spearheaded mm. this thing, but you know, just because you lead something doesn't mean that you can't have a strong right arm or a strong left arm. And in the way that um, um, Files wanted to support the whole movement, I think he did a really good job with that. Um, I think another reason why blogs might be pushing it out was because on social media, Files went ahead to still make another video mm. about that. While mm. I would say Runtown wasn't very personal with social mm. media, yeah, he only true. put like a tweet and stuff. So and the live video. Yeah, so I think it's easier to be able to milk um, Files' comments, which gave like a, a, a summary of the end of the event. So it looked like he was really... He was more involved in that, mm. that thing because he, he was committed from start to finish. So there's also that aspect to it. Either ways, I'm really, really, really glad that a lot of people came out. Quite a lot of people, actually. Quite a lot. There's some people that I saw on this on the, the live comment, and I was thinking, it's not like too classic now. When he when he, he was putting his Instagram fingers, yes, to you, and then I saw it, that his picture that he was actually on the street as well. So I saw a lot, a lot of people, quite a lot of people come. For out. those of you wondering if the tea time crew was there, yes, we were there. <laughs> we we were represented, so we yeah. were not there personally. Yeah. But trust me, Plus TV Africa was represented. So I actually full, went and there. You will get a, a glimpse of that report shortly. Yeah. So I actually went there yesterday, but by the time I got there, it was a bit late because I didn't want to go on my own, and mm. obviously my co uncles had other responsibilities abilities and stuff so by the time i got that you could still see like quite a lot of people scattered around mm. but like it wasn't it now became kind of, kind of like a turn up mm. it was almost, almost like a social vibe the whole protesters mm. people who came to do the serious as it should gone. be and i like the fact that we were <laughs> able to hold a peaceful protest mm. and then end up still smiling you mm. know with the ending end in tears yeah, like yeah, they like to say yeah. here but let's see a few videos of some of the celebrities who turned up for this um protest because I don't know when my, the way I dress, my fashion statement has become a key to seeing my end. For me, I feel like there's nothing that beats the fact that I can't step out of my house and there's no guarantee that I come back because of the way I look, because of the way I dress, because of the kind of hair I carry. Sans, don't stop me tired. Now, think about it. If I don't have a media passport, or I have to explain myself, must you be popular to be alive? No. Must you be a known person to be alive? No. Must you be someone as famous as this person or that person to be alive? No. Everybody in this world, it was hard enough. Enough of the craziness. Madness out here. And SARS, man. And SARS, baby. It's enough, you know? And SARS. Just end it. There's no dialogue, no conversation. Just end it. And SARS. And SARS. What are we here for? What are we here for? What are we here for? What? Who came out? I was just happy and inspired to see how many people came out and it just made me know that it's about time.
It's about time to take this struggle beyond social media. It's about time to take our complaints beyond social media. We need to get out there and protest. We need to let our intentions be known. We do not want SARS anymore. We're not asking for a reform. We're not asking you to come and do a press conference and tell us, oh, they are not allowed to do this. They are allowed to do this. This has happened multiple times. We need SARS completely abolished. And we went to the Lagos State Police Command today. We left a message for the IG via the AIG and we let them know that on Tuesday, we are back on the streets. If we do not see SARS completely abolished we are back on the streets well done well done guys um i really have to commend all the celebrities who went out there especially those one that we never even saw their tweets or even mm. saw but um they showed us the actions speak louder than words it's not about the twitter a lot of them that have never said a word about sars were on the were streets they? yesterday mm. and i really really did admire that and um i i earned a lot uh, i earned um more respect for a lot of other celebrities yesterday with the way they were so involved in the nsars movement but um, I would still stand on my ground and still say that SARS is useful. Are they abusing their power? Yes, I 100% agree they are. But um, can we limit them to their jurisdiction and what they are made to do? Yes, we can with a proper structuring, restructuring, reformation and all of that. So yes, in as much as we're clamoring for NSARS, we should also think about the ones who want to take advantage of this NSARS movement. The armed robbers who are not being feel like, okay, we're free we're being tackled we can do that no i get where you're do you really come think from. that if we don't have sars we won't be able to curb um we robbers. will but is it also okay for us to have a spe spe specific what was happening to um, the, um, of the police before? force that does just that hmm? Do you think it's also very important to have a specific arm of the police force who does just that? And it must be SARS. Violent crimes. It must be SARS. It doesn't have to be SARS. Okay, so, I, um, I, I, like I said, I, I'll always keep making reference to my report um, on the NSARS movement. And um, Rugged Man said something that no matter the name you give to them, Braz, Mars, whatever it is, as long as it is those same guys with that same orientation in their heads with the same attitude and all that it's not going to change mm. so i totally agree that reformation may not work completely which is why Preach. i also said it yesterday okay. that for now even if it's six months one year they can be put on hold but so if you think that reformation <laughs> if, if you think that reformation it might not work for them then why not eradicate it they're, they're, they're the, conspiracy the theories that um the um economic um economic and financial crimes commission as well is also working hand in hand with the government that is they're being used as a tool i didn't say this i said there's a conspiracy theory that they're being used as a tool by some powerful people to bring down some other powerful people right mm. they have abused their power in some other ways as well mm. but we are not saying do go and end the fcc you know why we're not saying they, that yet because they're not taking innocent lives this is not banter. True. So there's levels to the, 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 the amount of level of crime being committed mm. would also um, um, tri um, attribute The ratio to, has to be yes, balanced. Yes, to attribute to that. If it was that they were slapping people and, you know, small harassment, like police people can do that as well. You know, if it's small harassment, even though that should still be... Um, curbed. Uh, curbed. It's not something that we'll, I'll, I'll not go and stand in the sun where coronavirus exists and I'll be saying end and police time. or whatever. Okay. But there's the, the, the seriousness of the, the seriousness of it is showing how much callousness has happened. They have attempted to reform SARS over and over. They have removed a lot of um, what's it called power given to them to curb and reform it. We've seen that happen. They've told us that they don't have a right to do A, they don't have a right to do B, they don't have a right to do C, and they're still killing innocent people. So it's it's and been proven, like you said many times, especially with what you just quoted with um, Rugged Man, that these people are there. As long as you're not taking out every... If you take out everybody, you might as well just end SARS. So again, we're saying end SARS. Focus on something else. And I always keep mentioning, we are not the kind of country that has the type of resources or the history in, you know, having sustainable programs or sustainable um, 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 what's it called, um, associations or events or... or Ta task forces like that. We don't have that type of reputation. So it's not like as if we're going to sit and really believe that you're going to do what it takes to reform SARS. Why don't you go back to square one, the one that you already have so much um, resources and structure already put in place, which is the police force. You already have so much history with that. And reform it if you need to get... Because even the way they re recruit the police force and how they recruit SARS is very different. So if you can get the good ones that we already know and then you know train them into handling um, um, robbery or handling whatever forces you need to handle... 
you know, you can't hold too many things with ten fingers. So calm again. down, start again, and do what you need to do. I stand with everybody. I want to just mention the women for me as a feminist. <laughs> I'm really <laughs> glad that a lot of, because I was really worried. When we mm. were on the show, the event started while we were live on, on Tea Time yesterday. So we didn't really, we, we're not follow, we couldn't follow when the show started. Yeah, yeah, but we joined live, the live videos. After, yeah. yeah. But, you know, as it was hot, when, it's, when it first started, um, it was just the men that I was seeing show up. Yeah. Um, I was kind of worried that, because the, the idea of feminism to me is having equality. Quality. And right now, this thing is a gender-based violence, which for me are men. And that, so that means that if the men are not equal, then we're not equal either so i feel like it's also a feminist problem and yeah. i was hoping i was really crossing my fingers that a woman or women will show up for their cause because when we scream for help for from the for the men we want them to show up for for our protest we want the men to also you know tie hands with us and stuff so i was really 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 glad to see one of the i would even categorize them as probably the most influential in the industry right now as in as the day hot with the chacha talking makinwa and um yeah um, what's her name tiwa savage i don't know if i'm missing anyone else's name but i feel like seeing those three women really brought to me and they didn't even come together they all were all at different spaces according to what i was seeing on social media so it was really really cool for me to see that women are also supporting the causes that are affecting our men all right so big shout out to all the women out there thank yeah. you for coming out to support a just cause for each and every one of us um, i dare to differ though that it is not a gender based because we've seen a lot of women too who have been oppressed by not, but not as much as not men. as much as men so um we've seen a lot of women who have also suffered from SARS oppression extortion and humiliation so um, um but still we still have to commend the women they can say oh we want to be we want to be in our um safe zone we don't want to put ourselves at arms way in in arm's way and all of that but they were still out there to support the men and to support a just cause so big shout out to the women big shout out to Tiwa Savage and Tokyo Makinwa and a host of many other women that were there and of course our favorite celebrities and not just the celebrities everyone who believes Every other in person. this entire yes, movement actually. everyone who was out there yeah. either on your phone whether you were putting your Twitter or Instagram say we are not even yeah. we are not judging nobody as long Absolutely. as you played a part in you getting this message across to the right authorities big shout out to you